In this tutorial, you animate text using the Mass Effects dynamic simulation. The final animation involves two steps. One is simulating the earthquake using a camera shake. The other is simulating the crumbling of text into small pieces using the Mass Effects dynamic simulation. In a new scene, Create a line of text in the front view that reads, From the Director of. It's a simple line of text, much like you see in ads for upcoming movies. Use a simple font, such as Arial Narrow, and leave the size at 100. Underneath it, create another line of text that reads, Quake. Use the same font but make it bigger, about 160 in size. Adjust the positions to center the lines of text in the view. Make sure the word Quake is slightly above level 0, as you will use level 0 later on as a collision object. Extrude both lines by a small value of about 4 units. Create a free camera in the front view centered on the text. Right-click the perspective view and press C to display the camera in that viewport. Display the save frames in that view as well. In the Render Scene dialog, set the output size to HDTV in 960 by 540 resolution. In the top view, Move the camera back to frame the text in the camera view. Adjust the camera position until the text appears well framed in the camera view. Go to the Slate Material Editor. Create two standard materials with light gray shades. Apply the darker one to the first line, and the lighter one to the second line of text. Test render the camera view to see the results. The result looks like one for a movie trailer. To simulate an earthquake, you need to add a shake effect to the camera. You'll do that with the help of the noise animation controller. Make sure the camera is selected, and then Alt right click it. Choose Freeze Transforms from the Quad menu. Click Yes to dismiss the warning. This creates a position list and ensures the current camera position is preserved once you add a noise animation effect. With the camera still selected, go to the Motion panel. In the Assigned Controller rollout, expand the Position track and highlight the Zero Pause XYZ track. This is the track you will animate. With the new track selected, Click the Assign Controller button. Choose the Noise Position Controller. A dialog appears. Scrub the animation. Notice the effect of the camera shake. It is continuous from beginning to end of the animation. At this point, the animation length is a bit short, only about 3 seconds. Use the Time Configuration dialog to extend it to 600 frames total. Next, you want the shake effect to gradually happen, and ultimately gradually fade out. In short, you need to animate the noise strength between frames 0 and 600. Make sure you are at frame 0, and set all three strength values to 0. Enable Auto Key Mode. Go to frame 300, and set the strength values to about 20. The higher the number, the greater the effect. At this time, the effect is ramping up between frames 0 and 300. If you want the camera to be static for a while, simply drag frame 0 to about 50, so that the shake only starts there.
at frame 550, bring the strength values back down to zero. If you want, you can go to the curve editor and fine tune the animation curves to more extreme or dramatic results. Close the curve editor window and the noise controller dialog when done. To keep things tidy, you can even rename the track Quake Effect so that you remember it at a later time. This covers the animation of the camera shake and earthquake effect. In the next movie, you break the word Quake into multiple pieces using various techniques.